Hello friends, let's balance one more net ionic equation. This equation is for the reaction between dichromate ion and sulphite ion to form chromium ion and sulphate ion. This reaction takes place in acid medium or acidic medium. Let's balance this equation by off reaction with half reaction method or ion electron method. Let's assign the oxidation number for chromium and sulfur at the first. Chromium in this dichromate ion to calculate the chromium oxidation number, what will be that? Chromium you can consider X, so two chromium atoms are the two X plus 7 times minus 2 that is equal to minus 2. So if you simplify what will be that the x value will be plus 6. Chromium the oxidation number we will get plus 6. In the case of sulfur in sulfite ion what will be that x sulfur we can assume x its oxidation number plus three oxygen atoms are there so three times minus two that is equal to minus two so on simplification what will be that x is six minus two that will be plus four here the oxidation number of sulfur in sulfite ion is plus 4. In the case of here the oxidation number of chromium that is plus 3 because its charge is 3 plus. In sulfate the oxidation number sulfur we can assume x plus 4 times minus 2 that is equal to minus 2. So on simplification what will be that 4 times minus 2 8 minus 8 so x is 8 minus 2 that will be plus 6 x will be plus 6. So now we have found the oxidation numbers of chromium and sulfur on the reactant side as well as the product side. Now we can check the change in oxidation number that is chromium the change is from plus 6 the oxidation number from plus 6 it changes to plus 3. In the case of sulfur the oxidation number changes from plus 4 to plus 6. So the oxidation number of chromium, oxidation number of chromium decreases from plus 6 to plus 3. So the dichromate to chromium ion, this conversion is reduction. So this reduction half reaction, this is the reduction half reaction. So the next half reaction will be oxidation half reaction. Now the reduction half reaction first we can balance. When we check the number of chromium atoms on the left hand side two chromium atoms but the right hand side only one chromium atom. So in order to balance this chromium ion has to be multiplied by two times. So we are multiplying this chromium ion by two times. Chromium ion is multiplied by two times. Now the oxygen atom at the left hand side, seven oxygen atoms are there. But the right hand side there is no oxygen atom. So in order to balance, we need to add seven moles of water or seven molecules of water we need to add on the right hand side. 7 molecules of water. 
needs to be added on the right hand side 7H2O or add it on the right hand side when we add seven mole, uh, molecules of water on the right hand side now seven times two 14 hydrogen atoms are present on the right hand side but the left hand side there's no hydrogen atoms at all therefore what we need to do to balance this 14 hydrogen atoms on the right hand side here we need to add 14 hydrogen ions that we are adding now 14 hydrogen ions are added on the right left hand side now we can check the charges the right hand side water is a neutral compound there's no charge chromium only it has a charge it has three positive charge and it has a coefficient two so 2 times 3 plus that will be plus 6. The right hand side the total charge will be plus 6. The left hand side the charge here dichromate 2 minus and here 14 plus. That is here it is minus 2 and here it is plus 14. But both the sides, the number of charges must be plus 6 because the right hand side, the charge is plus 6. So left hand side also, it has to be plus 6. So in order to get plus 6, what we need to do that, we need to add minus 6 to the left hand side. If you are adding minus 6 to the left hand side, minus 6, then the result will be what we plus 6 both the side it will be plus 6 so 6 electrons need to be added on the left hand side 6 electrons are added on the left hand side now the reduction of reaction is balance now let's balance the oxidation half reaction in the oxidation half reaction both the sides the sulfur atoms are equal but oxygen atoms on the right hand side four times but the left hand side three times only therefore in order to balance <coughs> one oxygen atom we need to add one molecule of water on the left hand side so that we are adding now one molecule of water on the left hand side one molecule of water or add it on the left hand side when we add one molecule of water this we can write properly this we can erase it so one molecule of water is added on the left hand side as we have added one molecule of water now two hydrogen atoms are present on the left hand side but the right hand side there's no hydrogen atom Therefore, in order to balance the hydrogen atom, we need to add two hydrogen ions on the right hand side. So, two hydrogen ions are added on the right hand side. Two H plus ions are added on the right hand side. Now, we can check the charges. Charges on both the sides, we can check. Water is a neutral compound, there is no charge, sulphide, it has one, two negative charge, minus two. The right hand side, sulphate, this also has two negative charge, minus two. So, both the side, the charges must be minus two only, then only it will be equal. But in addition to minus two on the right hand side, here two positive charges are there in hydrogen ion that is two positive charges are there so as a result what is needed we need minus two we need to add if you are adding minus two on the right hand side then only 
this minus 2 and this plus 2 will be cancelled then both the side the charges will be minus 2 then it will be equal so as a result we need to add two electrons on the right hand side so two electrons are added on the right hand side two electrons now when we check the number of electrons lost two electrons number of electrons gained is six electrons but as per the rule the number of electrons lost must be equal to the number of electrons gained so in order to make the number of electrons equal on both the sides we need to find lcm so what we need to do this oxidation of reaction half reaction we need to multiply by three times so that we are doing now oxidation of reaction needs to be multiplied by three times so when we multiply what we will get so after multiplication we need to add both the equation both the half reactions need to be added together that we can do it at the next page yes here already we have already we have noted the equation that is the reduction of reaction we have mentioned and this oxidation half reaction now the oxidation of half reaction we have multiplied by three times we have multiplied by three times here so now both the equations we can add together <coughs> so both the equations are added together now both the equations we need to add together so when we are adding the same substances on the opposite side need to be cancelled so accordingly which can be cancelled this six electrons and six electrons then <clears throat> this hydrogen ions this six hydrogen ions will be completely cancelled but this 14 hydrogen ions it will become eight this will become eight because we are cancelling by subtracting 14 minus 6 the result will be eight hydrogen so eight hydrogen ions on the left hand side then any other substance same substance on the opposite side yes water molecule here seven molecules of water on the right hand side here three molecules of water on the left hand side so this will be cancelled this three molecules of water will be completely cancelled this seven molecules of water will be will be changed to four times because seven minus three the result will be four the result is four so here four water now remaining the reactants reactant side what are the species left out that we need to add together similarly in the right hand side the products the species left out we need to write together add together so accordingly what we have got the left hand side cr2o72 minus that is already written then three moles of sulfite ion that we need to write it three moles three moles we need to mention three times this so3 2 minus then what else is remaining on the left hand side here eight hydrogen ions this eight hydrogen ions we need to add on the left hand side eight hydrogen ions are added on the left hand side then any other substance is left out on the left hand side everything we have written
now we need to come to the right hand side what are the species left out 2 cr3 plus so that we need to write it 2 cr3 plus 2 cr3 plus that we have written then what else is remaining four molecules of water and three molecules three times sulfate ion so three times sulfate ion we need to write it three times sulfate plus four molecules of water or four moles of water this reaction takes place in acid medium so as it takes place in acid medium the equation now the equation what we have the resultant equation is the balanced equation so the balanced equation is 8 moles of hydrogen ions plus 1 mole of dichromate ion plus 3 moles of sulfite ions react together gives 2 moles of chromium ion 3 moles of sulfate ion and 4 moles of water thank you so much for watching and subscribing